Does your saw's chain not stop when you hit the brakes? If so, you need a new chain brake kit. The chain brake kit attaches to the saw just above the clutch drum. The brake has a metal band that wraps around the clutch drum. The handguard also attaches to the brake. When the handguard is pushed forward, the brake is engaged which tightens the metal band around the clutch drum, bringing the chain to a quick stop. The chain brake kit consists of the brake band, the spring and linkage, and the plastic housing. The brake comes pre-assembled and is pretty much a bolt-on repair. The chain brake should be tested each time the saw is used and immediately serviced or replaced if it's not working. The most common problems with the chain brake are wear to the brake band and damage to the brake's plastic components. Replacing the chain brake kit is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll remove the side cover by removing the two nuts and loosening the tension screw. With the clutch cover removed, now I can remove the bar and the chain. Before I can remove the chain brake kit, I'll need to remove the upper handle, as one of the screws for the chain brake is behind the handle. I'll tip the saw over, and there's two more screws on the bottom. With the fasteners removed, now I can pull the handle away from the saw. Now I can remove the chain brake assembly. It's held in place with four screws. Now we can install our new chain brake kit. The problem is when you receive this part, it's going to come in the locked position with the spring all the way forward. You can see that this spring is compressed. So the problem is we can't just slide this over the clutch drum in this position, it won't fit. So to install it, what we're gonna to need to do is remove the clutch drum for the saw, put the brake on, unlock it, and then reinstall the clutch drum. The clutch drum is held to the saw with a C-clip. I'll just use a small screwdriver to pry the C-clip away from the shaft. With the clip removed, I can remove the washer and the clutch drum. With the clutch drum removed, now the brake band will easily fit over the top of the clutch. I'll need to pull the handle up to get the brake to align, like that. Once everything's in place, I'll re-secure the brake with the screws. With the new chain brake installed, now I can go ahead and unlock it so we can fit the clutch drum back into place. With the brake unlocked, now we have plenty of room to slide the clutch drum back in place, replace the washer, and secure with the C-clip. Now I'll reinstall the top handle. I'll just work it onto the saw until it's in its mounting location. Now that it's in place, I'll secure it with the fasteners. Now I'll install the bar in the chain. On this saw, it's easiest to place the chain on the bar first, and then this whole assembly onto the saw. Now as I mount this, you want to make sure that you have the chain on the right direction. On the bottom part of the bar, the sharp side of the tooth should be pointing back towards the saw, otherwise it won't cut right. Now I can place the chain around the sprocket, and then guide the bar onto the saw over the bar bolts. Like that. Once I have it in place on the saw, I'll go ahead and pull the bar forward as far as it'll go, just like that. And now I can install the side cover. 
I place it over the bar bolt, and I'll adjust the adjustment screw until the pin on the side cover falls into the hole on the bar. This is easiest to do if you have a long screwdriver, but any screwdriver will work. And I'll just adjust it one way or another until it lines up with that hole in the bar. I'm applying a little sideward pressure so it'll snap into place when it finds that hole. Like that. Now that it's engaged in the bar, I'm going to turn it the opposite direction until it starts to put some tension on the chain. And now I'll go ahead and install the nuts. At this point, I'm just going to put the nuts on finger tight. Now we'll go ahead and tension the chain. To do that, I'll grab the tip of the bar and raise it up as high as it'll go. Then I can check the tension on the chain. Without pulling real hard, just a normal grasp, you want to grab the chain and lift it up. You want to be able to lift the chain, but no more than about the height of the driver links. So I just grab it and lift it up. Looks like it's still just a little bit loose. So I'll tighten the screw a little bit more, check it again, that looks good, so now I'll go ahead and tighten down the bar nuts.